Welcome to my latest episode for Digital TV Drive Test Reception Measurement. Uh, the intention is to identify which of the three selected networks provides us with the best DTV service at the moment. To join our future raffles and giveaways, please do subscribe. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Here we will discuss and cover topics dealing with broadcasting, technology, sites and travel, and everything in between. So sit back, relax, click the subscribe button, and enjoy. So here we present to you the route map, uh, the roads taken for the measurement for the drive test. I've also indicated the parameters of each network that they use for digital television. For the drive test uh, measurement setup, you need a laptop, a test instrument, an antenna, and a vehicle. So our first test point is on the intersection of Toklong San Sebastian Road, Kawit Kavike. This is the road leading to Antel Grand and Lancaster. Second test point is just right after the Cavitex Toll Plaza. So I'm sure you've noticed the speed. So I'd like to assure you that I'm driving at uh, within the regulation. I just need to multiply the speed of the video 300 times so that uh, we can shorten uh, the, the clip that you're about to, to view. And then just imagine if I'm going to run this at normal speed from, uh, from the first sample point up to the end, that would be around an hour. Which is still amazing because uh, at this uh, situation, current situation, you can actually drive 40 kilometers uh, from Malabon City to Pagi, General Trias, and back, and just within uh, an hour. Our test sample 3 is at the end of the Cavitex, uh, uh, the highway, the expressway, uh, going to Coastal Road. In this case, I did not take the full drive-through measurement uh, for each, uh, like uh, every second, every two seconds or three seconds, because this is for my YouTube channel. I do a comprehensive uh, measurement, uh, a comprehensive technical study, reception study uh, for specific clients. So that's a totally a, a different. Uh, uh, job for me as a consultant but uh, of course our objective here is to give you an idea uh, on identified sample points what are the performance of the three selected networks for this measurement So aside from the navigation uh, screenshot that I have, 
I also have a aid map image with the red circle to indicate where the measurement was taken. So while you're at it, so this is how it looks like if you're driving at uh, around 180 kilometers per hour. So see how the lines are almost blurred. So when I said earlier that I was driving within regulation, I think I was uh, somewhere from 60 to 80 kilometers because it varies. I like I like to keep distance uh, on the vehicles in front of me. And now we're in Vita Cruz, so another sample. So you see the circle on the bottom, the, the map. So that's where the test is. And the screenshot from the navigation system. So despite the road construction in, in this area in front of Central Bank, still traffic is flowing better than normal. Take your approaching Kirinu Avenue. So you notice it's red. The traffic light is red. So I stop naturally. As everyone should. Observe what happens here. Those people on, on bikes and a public vehicle, two of them, uh, jump trucks, rubber collection trucks, did not follow the traffic light. And then boom, the taxi is speeding and then braking and trying to overtake. So it should be easy. The shortest drive through test uh, that you're gonna see. Usually, a drive uh, measurement test for Metro Manila would take you uh, six to eight months. That's considered past already if you want to do a comprehensive. Right so we're doing this under 30 minutes. So sample 6. So between UN Avenue and PM Kala was Boulevard. So just right after the US Embassy and the Museo Pombata. So this is the meta. Then after we cross this, it's gonna be the side of Intramuros. Okay, our seventh sample point, Manila South Harbor. Okay, driving towards the next. So you see a lot of cars parked in road 10.
So it's Manila North Harbor. <laughs> so after crossing this, uh, we are in uh, the old housing unit in, units in in Manila, uh, right before uh, Smoky Mountain. So you can see them on the right, rows of uh, government housing. And we just went under the uh, NLEX interchange. So I heard it's open, it's going to be open this week. It will cut the travel time from Manila to QC under 15 minutes or QC to Manila. So finally it's finished. So now we're nearing to our next sample, Novotas. Bolivar. Sample point number nine about us not paid for the board. And that would be the last. Okay, I have here the graph showing you the performance of each network. So in terms of reception between ABS-CBN and GMA, in digital they are equally matched which means receivers will be able to get their signal relatively easily. However, in terms of uh, coverage superiority, ABS-CBN still has the bigger coverage. Having said that, in this uh, drive-through test, GMA enjoyed a wide margin of digital signal over abs -EVM. As for CNN Philippines, they have a long way to go to catch up with the two major TV networks. I'd like to thank our sponsors, Ryu Ramen and Curry. Please do check them out. They have in Makati and uh, Pan Pacific Airlines. Thank you very much for listening.